Hey guys, Grady here. So, getting on camera for you guys to discuss some important topics and um, just to check in, you know, everything's going well with me. Hope everything is well with all of you. Um, recently I was at work and I had a customer tell me that I need to go to Russia someday. And this is a guy from Russia. He said to me, to my face, to this effect, he said, if people spend their whole lives not going to Russia, they're really missing out on something really spectacular. So, you guys have to understand that Russia is clearly not that bad. Russia clearly, because the news I've heard about it, all the bad things I've heard about it, have come from people who live in the United States. Every good thing I've heard about it have, has come from people in Russia. And I've got to be honest, I trust more what the people from Russia say than what the people from the United States say. I do. I trust the Russian people more. You know, and I keep saying to people, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. So many people get concerned when I tell them I want to go to Russia and I say it's for the nature areas and they still like act super duper concerned. I don't know why, but they just do for whatever reason. And I, you know, that's the reason I want to go is for the nature. Russia is one of the prettiest countries in the world. I'm not joking. It is literally one of the most beautiful countries in the entire world. It is. It's so beautiful. And you guys are all there. I don't care, you know, what political party you identify yourself with. If you're a Democrat or a Republican, you all say the same thing. Oh, Russia's bad. I'm completely against Russia. Let's blow up Russia. No, Russia's not bad. I'm not completely against Russia. Let's not blow up Russia. Let's not. That's not going to solve anything. That's just going to cause another war. That's what violence does, okay? Russia really... Mo you have to realize, the majority of people that live in Russia live within like, you know, a hundred miles or less of the other countries that Russia borders with. They don't live really far north in Russia. They don't. They don't. They really don't. I mean, unless it borders like you know, if it's northern Moscow or St. Petersburg or whatever that state is called that those cities are in, if they're like next to, um, you know, if they're next to like Scandinavia or something like that, or if they're next to the countries that are below um, southwest Russia, then, you know, yeah, they're, um, then, you know, yeah, there are going to be cities there. But if you're in the middle of nowhere in Siberia. Siberia covers more than three quarters of Russia, okay? You have to realize that the instant you cross over the Ural Mountains, you are in Asia. The Asian side of Russia does not have a lot of people. It doesn't. It does not have a lot of people. And it's not an issue if I want to go there. Gosh, you people need to like, you know, quit, quit you know, saying all this stuff about Russia because it might not be true what you're saying. You might just be saying, you know, random stuff that, you know, stuff that you shouldn't be saying. Don't go instantly jumping to conclusions about anything. You know, I didn't instantly do that with Trump. I mean, as much as I hate him, at first when he was first running, 
you know, my parents said they didn't like him, and I said we should give him a chance, but he hasn't proved himself worthy of doing anything except making everything worse. That's the only issue I have. He's made everything worse. He's done nothing for me or my family's benefit. He's done nothing good to help improve my quality of life. My quality of life is still horrible. It's worse under him than it was before, not saying it was bad before, but it's still, but it's gotten worse under him, a lot worse. Um, you know, you need to stop making instant conclusions. Like if somebody says, oh yeah, they want to go to Russia, don't say, why, why would you do that? That's going to cause a fight. Just say, you know, well, you know, you can say to them, like, what part of Russia do you want to go to and what, what fascinates you about Russia? Make sure to be polite. If you're just going to attack them, they're not going to want to talk to you. They're not. They're not going to want to flip and talk to you. They aren't. They aren't going to want to talk to you. I don't talk to people who go around, you know, saying stuff like that. I don't. I don't talk to them. You know, and I don't, and I know a lot of other people feel the same way. We've got to find out, no matter how long it takes, we've got to find out about what's really going on in these other countries, because we have no idea. We really have no idea. You guys can say, you know, whatever you want, that, oh yeah, Russia's bad, I hate everything about Russia. Well, if you've never been there, and if you have not talked to people from there, you are in no position to be talking. You don't have any reason to say anything either way. You don't know what's going on over there. The people over there could be some of the happiest people in the world. And I've had, I've had other customers from Russia who have said what that one guy said, that I should go there because it's a beautiful country. And they've even said people in the United States need to stop making false accusations about it because you don't know what you're talking about. And you're just talking smack. You are, you're just talking smack. It's not very polite to do that. You know, it's like when people... They get so upset when I tell them I don't care about my freedom. I explained this in a previous video, why I don't care about my freedom, and that still holds true. I don't care about my freedom, and I never will again. It's too, it's too much hatred for me to care about it. I don't hate, okay? The only people I hate are the people who make jokes about serious issues. You know? I, I don't have Twitter anymore, guys, because somebody started an argument with me. They decided to make jokes about murder, and I, you know, and I told them something really bad in return, something that I shouldn't have said, but I honestly, I don't regret it. You t there is an expression that's called, treat people the way you want to be treated. If you want to treat people like shit, go ahead. Don't, you're not going to get respect in return, and you're certainly not getting it from me. I don't tolerate shit like that, okay? You you know, and if, and if I ask, tell, and demand you to stop and you still don't, then we have even further problems that, you know, like what? Is your gut telling you that like, yeah, maybe I'm right, but you don't really care because, you know, you've got all this money and if you go to jail for doing something like that, your dad's gonna bail you out or whatever. There's more to life than your useless money. There is. Money's useless. There's no... The only good thing about money is that it can be used to save the planet. No, we don't need to pay bills with it. We can live off the grid. It's really not that hard, guys. It's not. And I've started getting supplies together to go off the grid, actually. Here's some of the nature that we're in, guys. Heal, Robert. Um, so, I don't care, really. I don't really care what you guys say. Oh, yeah, my money means more to me than anything. You're a horrible person for talking like that. You are. And while we're on the subject of horrible people, that guy from Italy who came over in 1492 
Christofuck Columbus. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Christofuck Columbus. Do you guys all understand that he's a horrible person too? Do you understand that? Do you like honestly realize that? He's a horrible, horrible person. You know, he had a whole bunch of people killed. A bunch of real U.S. Americans killed. And you guys still seem to think that, you know, he's an honorable respected person. No, he's not. Why would you honor anybody that gets people killed? Why would you freaking do that? Seriously, that's not even funny. Like, if you joke about that, there's something wrong there, and I see that as treasonous. You know? I don't care. I don't care what you guys say. Christopher Columbus was a horrible, horrible person. He was. He was a horrible person who did many horrible things. I don't care what you guys say. Oh yeah, he was a great navigator. That's not the important part. The important part was that he was the one who started the great American genocide. It started in the United States, then it moved on to the other countries in America, Canada, Brazil, Mexico, Cuba, all the American countries. It slowly, and it still is, you know, it slowly graduated into those other countries and it still is happening in every American country. Yes, it happens, well, I don't think they murder indigenous folk in Canada, but I know that some people don't treat them very well. But the difference with Canada is that Canada, overall, they have respect for everybody. And you people that are in Trump's base are being so disrespectful to them. You really think that in the next war, after knowing what went on in this dumpy shithole? Seriously, that's what it is. It's not a country. That's way too high a term for a place that's gone so low. Do you really think that Canada is going to be on our side in the next war? Because if you do, you're pretty... You're, you're pretty, you're pretty stupid, okay? If, if that's what you think, you're pretty stupid. I'm just saying, you are. You say whatever you want. Oh, no, I'm not. They'll help us. Well, no, they won't. Canadian Americans don't like Donald Trump. I don't know why you guys think he's so great when, you know, what, like, is your gut telling you that, like, yeah, he is a liar and that he is a crook, but you don't want to know because... You're too ashamed and embarrassed to admit that, you know, like, maybe you made a mistake and maybe you voted for somebody who's a real criminal. That's how it literally looks. You guys need to watch the news. And if you're watching Sean Hannity or Infowars or Fox News or things like that, that's all just opinionated shit. That's just crazy shit. Rudy Giuliani shit. You need to watch... The news, I mean real news, you know, watch CNN, listen to NPR, watch ABC, watch CBS, watch MSNBC, watch NBC, watch other channels other than Fox. Just keep your mouth quiet because you don't know what's going on at all and I'm telling you, it's looking really messed up. I'm a Republican, guys, I'm telling you, there's a problem down there in the White House. It's a real serious issue. It's a real serious issue from one Republican to another. It's looking pretty bad, pretty messed up. It is. It's looking really, really messed up, really messed up. I don't vote for presidents who put criminals in charge of the Environmental Protection Agency. I don't put, I don't vote for presidents who do that. I don't because I'm not stupid and I'm not an idiot. You know, you guys need to really pay attention to what's going on. If you're not watching real news sources and if you have stopped reading the paper, it doesn't matter what country you live in, but if you've stopped doing that, no matter what country you live in, then you are in no position to say anything about anything that's going on in the world because you don't know what's going on. You just need, the only right you have in that case is to just keep your mouth quiet because you have no idea what the heck is going on. No clue at all. You guys still think 
that the Russian investigation had to do with Hillary Clinton. Nobody in the Clinton campaign or Hillary Clinton has been indicted. Oh, what, Uranium One? You guys need to watch the news. You do, you need to watch the news. Uranium One is something that they're throwing up there to like, you know, look over here. There's no evidence against Hil nobody in the Clinton campaign or Hillary Clinton has been indicted, guys. You guys ever heard of Paul Manafort, Mike Flynn, Don Jr., and Jared Kushner are probably next, guys. There's literally no evidence at all against Hillary Clinton. You know, and if you're only sticking to one or two sources, like, that's, that's really sad. That's really sad and that's really weird. Why would you only stick to one or two? You gotta go to multiple sources. And isn't it bothersome to you guys that like, you know, you guys are all like, oh yeah, Trump is great, you know. Make the US great again, whatever. When the rest of the world is literally, even in, when the rest of the world, including North Korea, well, the rest of the world except Russia, but literally the rest of the world other than the US and Russia, including North Korea, are sitting there scratching their heads saying, you know, why? Why are they why are they thinking like this? The whole world thinks of us as an embarrassment, and I've got to be honest, I side with the rest of the world. You guys say whatever you want. I've gotten no health care under Trump. My money has not increased in my bank account. He's done nothing to help improve my quality of life, in fact, he's made it very worse. I've met Donald Trump in person, guys. And no, he wasn't very nice to me. He was horrible. He was mean to me and my entire family. Why would you, why would you vote for somebody who does stuff like that, you know? You guys can say, oh, whatever, it was fake. Well, no, it wasn't. Most people who have a good mental capacity don't make joke, don't joke about stuff like that. You know, and if he's, if he was joking about it, then he has a, then he has a mental problem, a serious mental problem, and, you know, like what? Like, is his gut telling him that, yeah, he does have a mental problem, but like, you know, he can't, he just can't face that fact because he wants to, you know, rule the world? You guys don't realize, like, the United States is not the greatest country in the world anymore, and in fact, it never really has been. You know, all people are created equal. My disgusting, vile, white trash European ass. Like hell we are. Like hell they are. That's a lie. Isn't it bothersome to you guys that our Constitution lies right to our faces? It says, oh yeah, all people are created equal. Really? Because I've seen, uh, since Trump has gotten into office, I have seen so much more racism than I have ever seen before so much more it's gotten so much worse and you guys are sitting there saying oh yeah I'll defend the Constitution okay but you're just defending big giant lies that stuff that's not cool it's not it's not cool I am a Republican I did not vote for him I have friends that are Democrats and I have friends that are Republicans and then I have friends who are independents and I have some friends who just don't vote at all either because they're not a US born citizen and they're living here with a green card or because you know whatever other reasons and you guys you guys you know you guys criticize everybody who's not like you why do you vote for Trump when you know that he does that don't you guys have the brain capacity to figure out that that's not morally appropriate and that's not racially appropriate either do you have that type of capacity because I'm starting to think that you guys don't you know he did get rid of the Endangered Species Act he did revoke that that makes do you realize that makes him a murderer the definition of a murderer is somebody who murders any living thing, doesn't matter what it is, any living thing just for the hell of it. You know, and if he's appointing people to do that, especially up in Alaska with the baby bears and baby wolves, you know, allowing them to be shot in their own dens, that's murder, that's treasonous. I would, if I were in Mueller's shoes, he'd be, Trump would be rotting in a prison cell right now along with every member of Congress, every person in the White House working for him, every member 
of his secret service. They would all be doing that. They would all be rotting in prison. That's an offense that I will not even take to court. I'll just say, too bad you're going to jail. You are in no place to talk, and you're not, you're not. You're in no place to talk, and it's not funny. It's a very serious issue. You guys need to, you know, if, if you're not a funny person, don't try and make a joke, okay? And when you hear it over and over and over and over again, it's redundant and it's definitely not funny. It isn't, and it's unoriginal. Can't you guys think of anything more original to say? Really? Like, come on. You just sound like an idiot when you say, you know, whatever. About, you know, whatever. I believe in peace. I'm not wishing any of you guys dead or ill or anything because that's violence. And unlike Donald Trump, I actually do not want violence in this world. And I actually don't put the United States first because I find that to be incredibly selfish and ignorant and arrogant. It's selfish, it's self-centered, it's arrogant, it's ignorant. Why would you put your own country first? That's not cool. That's like, you know, Canada doesn't put you know, Canada first. Canada puts other countries first, and then Canada. China puts, you know how many countries China puts first? You know how many of our products are made in China? China puts all these other countries first before it puts with China, but it works so fast that they can put themselves, you know, after all these other countries that they don't need to worry, you know, about a lot of problems like, yeah, there are problems in China, I'm not saying there aren't, but they don't have to worry, you know, about, like, their citizens starving to death or anything, you know? Do you realize that Trump is separating children from their families? Like, that's, that, there's video evidence of that, and you guys still think that that's fake. Why would somebody make something like that fake? Do you realize the federal offense that can happen if you do something like that and you, you know, it's fake. Do you realize what legal punishments can happen? I don't think you guys realize that. It's really not funny. This stuff that's happening with Trump and all that, it is not funny. And I'm saying this one last time. I am a Republican, but I did not vote for Trump. He's a total murderer and he's a criminal and I was like no I I'm not voting for him as president I'm a Republican I I vote well okay let me rephrase that I'm not really a Republican anymore since I'm now a socialist but I was Republican in the last election and I you know who I voted for I voted for Hillary Clinton you know and I follow I follow Bernie Sanders on social media because Bernie Sanders is a wonderful guy, you know? He is, he's a great person. Trump has done nothing for my benefit, and you guys might say, well, what do you want him to do for your benefit? Well, don't you want presidents to, like, do stuff to make your lives better? Don't you want that? Because if you don't, there's a real, real problem there. A real serious problem. I'm not gonna use any, like, you know, bad language here, derogatory remarks towards a specific group of people, but still, that's, that's just how he is. That's just how he is. He does all that type of stuff. Do you realize that at one of the meetings he went to or something like that, he actually said the N-word, and you guys are praising Donald Trump? Do you realize, like, how messed up that is? Do you realize what you've done? You are openly... Well, you are giving racism a big, giant bear hug. You're saying, oh yeah, sure, racism, come on. Come into our country, we don't care. Because we're all stupid idiots, that's what you're saying. You're telling racism, oh yeah, you know, we don't care. We don't care if you come in. If you're really not watching the news, you should really start. You, Because, you know, I don't know if this is what happened with Nixon, but Nixon had, you know, he had pretty good numbers. I'm pretty sure even better than Trump's numbers, and then he was, we were gonna impeach him, and then he came out and resigned, and the truth was out, he is a crook. Is that what's going on here with Trump, too? You know? Like, you guys think he's great, and you know, there's pro I guarantee you, 
there are Russian bots will see this video. There will be crap underneath this. Some moron is going to go, you know, Trump 2020. Um, I'm just telling you right now, it might not work out like you think it will. You might wake up one morning and Mueller might be taking the papers over and there we go. Trump is going to be, he's going to be impeached. I'm just telling you, it's a very, very distinct possibility. We have a real problem here. I'm not gonna wish you guys ill though. I don't believe in that. And I'm not complaining either. I'm just telling you guys how it is. If you are not in the United States and you like Trump, to, from a US American to a non-US American, he's not doing anything good. He, he's not. I don't care what you say. If he... I don't care if he's done anything that's good. The minute I heard that he was murdering, that he was getting rid of the Endangered Species Act, I was like, that's it. You know, I don't care what good things I may have thought about him in the past. That's all gone. And I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to like, you know, have somebody go out and kill him. I'm not. That's, that's, that would not be professional either. That would also make things worse. I'm, I'm not for promoting violence, not even towards people I don't like. It's the truth. I'm not. I'm not for that. I'm not going to, you know, if I hate you, then I hate you. But that doesn't mean that I wish any violence upon you at all. That doesn't mean anything like that at all. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It doesn't mean anything like that. You know? And I, you know, and what really concerns me is that, like, you guys are lied to in school. Don't you guys realize that what they teach you in school is a lie? Oh yeah, Columbus discovered the United States. No, he didn't. No, he did not. Don't listen to your teachers when they tell you that because that is a lie. That is a lie. Christoph Fuckwad Columbus did not discover the United States at all. Actually, it was Asian people that crossed over. A lot of them came from Siberia and the Russian Far East. Um, and they crossed over and they discovered it and they slowly started inhabiting the continent. Machu Picchu is a Native American building, okay? That's what Machu Picchu is. That's what all those temple ruins are down in the south region of America. Th those are all Native American buildings. Those countries have more respect for Native Americans than the divided states of America. You know, that's the honest truth. That is the honest, literal truth. They have so much more respect because unlike them, because, I'm sorry, because unlike us, they don't care so much about their freedom that they're willing to kill other people in order to get what they want. That's not the way you do things. If you want to get something that you want, you work hard for it and you be polite and you be respectful and you be kind and you be nice. You're not going to get what you want by being a dick or by, you know, whatever. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. But in this case, I feel it's necessary. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hi, precious babies. Neighbor's dog's barking again. They always bark at us. They sound aggressive, but I know that they're really sweet. I've never gone over there and pet them. They're not bad dogs, though. They aren't. They aren't bad dogs. They're good dogs. And they do their best to take care of them. They're not under, you know, they're in very good health, though. <laughs> I see them and I can tell, you know, they're not, they're not badly fed. But anyways, guys, that's really not the point. Um, this is just how I feel about this. You know, of course people can feel however they want. But if you feel like, you know, if you feel a certain way about something and it's criminal, then no, I'm going to say you have no right to feel that way whatsoever. Do you realize that that makes you a bad person? There is a special place in every mental institution and in every prison and even in hell for people like Donald Trump, okay? And for people who like Christopher Columbus. There's a special place in all of those places for people like that. And that's the honest truth. You need to get over it, okay? You're not American. If you're white or black, you're not an American. Say what you want. You're not American. 
you are an illegal immigrant foreigner. Thank you all for watching. Bye.